Good call.
I'd like to call this council meeting to order. Would you please stand and join me for the pledge? Mr. Jones, would you lead us in the pledge, please? Standing for a moment of prayer or silent meditation. Thank you. Angie, would you do a roll call, please? Councilman Holtz? Here. Councilman Curry? Here. Councilwoman King? Here. Councilman Mishler? Present. Councilman Fish? Here. Councilwoman Hines? Present. Councilman Crabtree? Here. Councilman Hankey? Here. President Dawson? Present. Would you make sure your phones are turned off, those of you in the audience and council members, make sure we speak into our mic so we can be heard clearly. Uh, there are no minutes for approval. Are there any presentation or introductions? There are no presentation or introductions. Reports of council committees, there are none. Ordinance on second and third reading, there are none. Ordinance referred to council committee, there are none. Table ordinances and resolutions, there are none. So, Angie, would you read proposed ordinance on first reading 24-0-05, please, by title only? Proposed Ordinance 24-0-05, an ordinance amending the zoning map created pursuant to Ordinance Number 4370, the zoning ordinance of the City of Elkhart, Indiana, as amended to rezone 3811 South Main Street, Elkhart, Indiana 46517, from R1 One Family Dwelling District to B1 Neighborhood Business District. Thank you. If there are no objections. We'll pass this on to second reading. Angie, would you read proposed resolution 24-R-04 by title only, please? Proposed resolution 24-R-04, a resolution of the Common Council of the City of Elkhart, Indiana, pursuant to Indiana Code 6-1.1-12.1-11.3, waiving the noncompliance of SCG Acquisitions Company, LLC, DBA, Speed Grip Chuck Company, and Swanee Precision Holdings, LLC, collectively Speed Grip, and authorizing Speed Group to proceed with its application for tax abatement benefits. Thank you. Mr. Esbar. Good evening. John Esper, Corporation Council. Point of order. Uh, we need to have a motion to adopt it before we can discuss it. Oh. This particular resolution requires a public hearing, which, um, which will, with, um, with your direction, be published in the next 10 days for a hearing uh, to take place at the next council meeting. Thank in you, Mr. March. Mr. Uh, yes, we still need to have a motion for it and then table it. So motion to adopt the resolution. A motion for Mr. Mishler to second it. Discussion, you have this public hearing right now, Mr. Just open it up to the public. Do you want to have a public hearing now or when we? No, this particular um, resolution will require uh, a publication of publication. a public hearing to be conducted. Gotcha at a date certain, not less than 10 days. Um, Thank you. All those in favor of tabling, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Would you please read proposed resolution 24-R-04 by title only, please? I'm sorry, 05 by title only, please. Proposed resolution 24-R-05 Resolution of the Common Council of the City of Elkhart, Indiana, declaring a certain area to be an economic revitalization area for the purpose of granting tax phase in benefits to SCG Acquisitions, LLC, DBA Speed Group, Chuck Company, Swanee Precisions Holding, LLC. Thank you. Motion Mr. Mishler. Motion to adopt the resolution. Got a motion by Mr. Second. Mishler to adopt, second by Mr. Fish. Mr. Espar. Uh, this resolution is a companion to a uh, proposed resolution um, 24R04 and will only follow depending upon the council's um, determination whether to waive noncompliance uh, for speed grip. Thank you. Second. And a motion by Mr. Hinky, second for Mr. Mitchell at the table. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 
Any opposed? Same side. Motion carries. So we have two. T there's no vacation hearing. Any other new business? Mr. Fish. Thank you. So I wanted to report on my uh, experience last Saturday at the Frosty 5K that it was quite a success. We doubled the uh, number of participants. Uh, I didn't run. I don't do that anymore. But I did direct traffic and provided water at the stations, and it was quite a well-organized event. And I want to thank the, the city of Elkhart and the Parks Department especially for putting on such a great uh, a, a great event, and I see some of the volunteers in the uh, in the audience out there. Thank you. Thank you. Any other business, Mr. Inky. So I have a couple more questions here, um, and then this is the memorandum, January 16th special meeting of Board of Public Works, and my question is, um, how many executive sessions will there? be? there be and do they meet the qualifications for executive session um, by chief counsel's opinion since we're having redundant ones next i would also say i would just like that you know in writing there's been some questions on and david that. Would, you, would you put that in writing too so they can have it as well well it's on public record now. okay but if you want it from writing in them you need to put it in writing as well so we have it both ways and then um, I would also on the planning um, there was property over on freight st. Joe that was belonged to David Osborne who happens to be a committee member on Planning Commission and the average of two appraisals to purchase the property by the redevelopment Commission was $70,500 the latest memo says because the city really needs it, um, they agreed to the counter offer of 300,000, so four and a half times the appraised value. And I'm not sure where in law we are allowed um, to protect taxpayers. It's supposed to be the average of two appraisals. And so I'm very concerned of how that would be if it's an acceptance and paid for through TIF, it also bypasses council. So um, our constituents are not aware of this particular transaction. Um, it's on page 16, 17, 18 of the redevelopment committee meetings. And so between the redaction, the, um, it was a quick, by the way, and this could be coincidental, I'm not trying to say, but the Benham Avenue lift station force main LaSalle McKinley um, January 16th meeting there were open bids and the bids actually went to HRP a known contributor um, to the cause but it was right after that that we actually approved the dollars for that it just seemed to be in very close proximity and my concern of this, of course, is the transparency, which was obviously promised. But between the redactions and then those deals from $70,500 to $300,000, which happened to be a commission member's property, I'm having a very hard time understanding or convincing the public, quite honestly, that we have real oversight to their dollars. Um, I don't want to make it look as though there's something to hide, but it it's not the practice of the many years that I've been on this council, so I would just like some help with the trust and understanding that we are looking at the people's funding appropriately, that there's not a shady issue happening, and that this is within the confines of the law. Do any other new business? Mr. Mishler. Thank you. Uh, just a couple updates for folks at home. Um, the city is doing a cemetery cleanup. Uh, from Friday, March 1st to March 7th. Um, and if the public has decorations there, they would like to keep, they are encouraged to go pick those up. Also tomorrow, there is a fair housing workshop at the public library downtown at 5 p.m. in the Blue Room um, to learn some more about fair housing as well, and uh, code enforcement will be there to answer any questions that folks might have as well. Thank you. Any other business? Seeing none. Uh, reports Mayor Board of Works, Board of Safety, Department Heads. Everybody's moving okay. Neighborhood Association reports. Any Neighborhood Association reports? No report, but just support your Neighborhood Association. 
right. <laughs> On record, support your neighborhood association. Privilege of the floor. So anyone in the audience who would like to speak on anything that comes before the Elkhart City Council, please come forward. State your name. Good evening. My name is Jacqueline Foy. Um, I am here on behalf of the Pinecrest neighborhood um, off of Toledo Road to voice a formal complaint about the noise being emitted by the Welch Packaging Facility at 1130 Herman Street. For the past 10 months, we've been suffering from loud, irritating, persistent noise being produced by an air handler tower installed by Welch at this facility. This past spring, we registered a complaint about this problem through the Elkhart 311 app, through which we learned that the problem was referred to Building Commissioner Tim Vistine. Since that time, we've been working with Mr. Vistine, whom we would like to commend for his patience and diligence in this matter, um, to seek a resolution to this issue. Through investigation of public records, we learned that Welch installed this air handler without filing many of the necessary permits. And had they filed all of the required permits, the structure as it exists may not have been approved due to its size, height, and noise emission. This unpermitted structure has been allowed to continue operating for approximately a year now, producing a variety of irritating sounds ranging from a persistent hum to a thrumming, pulsating noise, which we in our home unaffectionately refer to as the whoop whoop sound. Um, due to the manner in which sound waves travel, the sound is especially noticeable in the upstairs bedrooms of our home, which is approximately 1.4 miles away from this facility. And it runs intermittently at all hours of the day and night. We've attempted to drown out the noise at our home with fans and a white noise machine when we go to bed, but some nights it is so unbearable that we have to sleep in another room to escape it. It is our understanding that there are multiple fans on this unit that produce a variety of unpleasant sounds depending on which combination of fans is running. We are told that Welch has been experimenting with various solutions to this problem for months now. And as a temporary compromise while they work on this, they've apparently been told not to run certain fans that produce the most noise between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m but they have blatantly violated this rule on numerous occasions as we have heard the noise during the so-called quiet hours. And we also question why the noise is somehow deemed acceptable during the day. In talking with our neighbors, we've learned that others are also suffering from this noise problem, although not everyone hears it at the level we do due to trees and other structures in the path between Welch and their properties. We've also learned that residents of nearby Kennedy Manor subdivision and Arbor Lakes apartment complex have also voiced complaints about this same noise issue, yet it persists. After personally registering numerous complaints about the noise with Mr. Vestine, he advised us to contact the city police anytime the noise rises to unacceptable levels, which we have done seven times in the past two months. The City Noise Ordinance Section B, Item 16 states that prohibited noises include, quote, the operation of any noise creating blower or power fan or any internal combustion engine, the operation of which causes unreasonably loud and raucous noise unless the noise from the blower or fan is muffled. Item 17 states that any noise that can be heard more than 35 feet from its source and is inherently obnoxious or patently offensive is also prohibited. We would definitely characterize the noise emitted by this structure as obnoxious and offensive. We would like to request that Welch not be allowed to operate this unpermitted clamorous structure until it has been brought into compliance with the noise ordinance and all required permits. Thank you. Thank you. Would you leave a copy of that? Could you uh, Would give you the address to Herman Street again, please? 1130 Herman Street. 1130? Mm-hmm. Could you leave a copy of that with our secretary? Yes. Thank you.
Yes, my name is C.C. Ryder Anderson. I'm really sort of heartbroken here. I was born here, gone 77 years ago. And, and Elkhart said, it's a city with a heart. How can you have a heart with all these broken veins, the streets, potholes, this and that? It hurts me bad. And you got bricks under this pavement that's been here well over 100 years and they're still there. If the people could actually take the solution the bricks made out and get and get their mind together and put things together and put a little project where they, they can see if it's gonna work or not and have their trucks drive over it and if, if we see that, that the, the bricks ain't gonna break, ain't gonna sink in because all this asphalt do in, in the summertime, it get hot, it sinks. Police be pulling me over because they think I'm drunk and driving. I don't drink, you know, I don't do drugs. I'm a Christian person, all I do is pray. And he said, why? I said, look, I done busted out four tires on my car, ducking and dying in deep potholes. If the council, if they can get together with the people out there and have them see what they can do about these streets because it hurts me to my heart because I was born on Wagner Street. And Wagner Street was the last street here in Elkhart to get paved. It was a dirt road all my years as a kid. And if they can get together with a solution of bricks made out of and put something with it and do a little project and have their trucks run over it 24-7, when they at work and see how it come out. If it come out right, put it down. But say with the heart, it hurts me to my heart. You know, people say, why you call it say with the heart? I said, it's supposed to be, but the broken veins, these streets here, it's bad. Holes three and four inches deep. The police ask me, why are you ducking? Why are you ducking? What you been drinking? I ain't been drinking nothing, sir. All I'm doing is trying to save my tires. I'm going around holes should have fallen into them, and sir. If the if the council y'all, if y'all can get yourself together with the street department and get some project made out and get the the city with the heart, get the veins looking good, not bad. Right now the veins is in critical condition. The city's gonna die like this here. Okay. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much, sir. Is there anyone else in the audience? Seeing none, we turn to the council. Acceptance of communications. I have a motion to accept communications. I have a motion second. for Mr. Fish, second for Mrs. Hines for acceptance of communication. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Could I get a motion for adjournment? Motion to adjourn. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>